Welcome back to A Minute with Alan. You know, we've lived here in Rhode Island in this space for 39 years. Hard to believe, but we have. And over 39 years, certain things happen with great repetition. I mean, not only the seasons changing and the taxes coming and things like that, but every spring, the big snapping turtles we have come up and lay their eggs and back into the water and you hardly ever see them again. The smaller turtles come up, they lay, egg, they lay their eggs. Uh, and the wild ducks congregate during the winter to be fed. They're not here as often in the, in the warm weather and so forth. One of our visitors uh, consistently has been a great blue heron. And of course, the great blue herons have changed over that amount of time. I don't know their lifespan, but they're territorial. And there's usually only one here. There was an exception one year where there were two of them because they were mating up in the trees. That was an interesting thing. This year, for the first time, we've had a great blue heron. It's the same one we can identify when they come back, that they look alike, whether they're adults or immature or wh whoever they are. And uh, we've had the blue heaven, he heron, the great blue heron, all winter. And so today is February the 26th when I'm recording this, and the heron has never left. It comes here two or three times a week, and it's not going to migrate now with a couple of you know weeks till spring is here, really. And so things are changing. Things are budding earlier. Animals are not migrating as much. Uh, we're seeing more activity uh, among wildlife in general. And so you have to get used to this. Things do change and they don't necessarily change for the worse. And so we're going to see some problems with global warming. I think we're gonna see some benefits with global warming. And I think that uh, we all have to get used to the fact that there are some things that are out of our control that we can't change and we have to learn to adapt to. And there are some things within our control that we can change. We need to know the difference. That's the serenity prayer, serenity to you.